Hello everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to Cookmas. So I apologize if I look like death. I'm just getting over some food poisoning, so bear with me. Welcome to the second video today, and this is the second video that is New Year's, New Year's Eve inspired. So these are some champagne gummy bears. And I thought these would be so much fun. They do taste alcoholic, so if you're too young to drink alcohol or don't like alcohol, I wouldn't recommend making these. But if you want something that will give you, I don't think they'll get you drunk, but they're a really cute addition to any New Year's Eve party or any Christmas party. And they have some gold leaf in them. So this is edible gold leaf. Kind of expensive, but if you want to go all out for something special for Christmas or New Year's, this is like the cutest treat. Um, and it's, it's so fun putting the gold leaf in the gummy bear containers. I don't know why, it's just like weird. I'm weird that way. But yeah, I think these are so pretty and they're so sparkly and just like something that you totally wouldn't expect with gummy bears. And also before we get started, I am doing a Christmas Q&A soon and I've forgotten many times to ask you guys for questions. So I'm going to be filming this in the next few days. So if you have any questions that you've ever wanted to ask me, it can be anything. Um, definitely ask me down below and I'll make sure to answer it in the Q&A, which is going live on Christmas morning or Christmas sometime on Christmas. So yeah, let's get started and make the gummy bears. So first, sprinkle the gelatin into the water and let it develop for 5 minutes. Pour the champagne into a small pot and bring it to a simmer. Add the gelatin and whisk until fully dissolved. Sprinkle some gold leaf flakes into the inside of a gummy bear mold and gently pour the liquid on top. Place the mold in the fridge until the gummy bears have fully set for about 30 minutes. So you can eat these as is or package them into little cellophane bags for a New Year's Eve gift or you can pop them into some champagne glasses and top with some champagne for a cute sparkly touch to your cocktail. And you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this recipe. Um, make sure to stay tuned tomorrow for an only cookies recipe. We're getting so close to Christmas. I can't believe it's almost finished. This has been like the busiest month of my entire life. So I'm definitely going to collapse and maybe like not get up for like a day after this is over. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much and I will see you tomorrow for an only recipe. So last, not last year, two years ago, you guys, when I made the champagne jellies video, I opened the bottle and it like exploded all over my kitchen and I lost like half the bottle of champagne and it was a bigger bottle than this. So I'm quite glad that, why am I happy? I don't know. Well, I'm hopeful that it's not going to happen um, this year. <laughs> oh, it's like the scariest. Thing. My heart is racing so much. Oh my god, such a baby. Come on. Oh, what do I want to do? It's scary. Oh my god. Oh. Is this even how you do it? I don't even know. Oh my god. Oh my god. Paddington, I'm scared. Help me. He's playing. He's such a little turd. Oh. Okay. Alright, the worst thing that's going to happen is like I'm going to lose an eye. And that's not very good. Um, oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. I don't want to. Oh, somebody come help me. Oh my god, I don't want to do it. Oh. Okay, if I hold it tight enough, technically it can't go anywhere, right? Yeah, okay. So, holy, holy crap. I'm trying so hard not to swear. <laughs> Feel it? Releasing gas. Oh my god, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Ah! Oh! Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, all that anxiety for nothing. Okay. 